the reason why I put myself on the line and, and put my life on a platform is so that somebody else may be saved. And Mr. Rose was to stick out like a sore thumb to ignorant souls. But I know the road this dandelion endured. This week, that all gardeners want to destroy is more appreciated by God than any simply beautiful bush of roses. Though that beauty misunderstood, mellow yellow dandelion won't for long last, let it be known that God gave the role of the outcast for divine importance. My mother was a dandelion in the midst of roses. Ignorant of her purpose, she uprooted her soul and unknowingly left herself for dead. It has been said that my mother went above the influence, transmuted broken hearts into smiles, all the while dying on the inside. AIDS didn't kill my mother, it put her at rest. Now the song for whistles in the key of silence and I, the latter of five, write poems documenting the struggle unknown to my family. The sickness she denied lies in my blood with a lesser value. People speak. I don't know how you can live with knowing nothing but only the growing dis-ease that your mother was so long fought. Just the thought alone would destroy me, but see, that's the difference between a rose and a dandelion. Roses were created with thorns to warn hands approach without caution. Dandelions weren't given that option, but they were created by an all-knowing God. And that all-knowing God created dandelions with the strength to withstand ignorance and hatred. Dandelions live in this matrix of life, understanding the price. Roses live like the world was handed. Dandelions have to take the world and won't leave a rose stranded, but my mother died. Before she got the chance to realize that dandelions are blessings in disguise, she, I dare say, dabbled for her time that thought lingers in my mind, conflicting with my belief in the divine. My mom raised me in the faith that the day God sends you away is a day proclaimed way before the manifestation, but I can't help but experience devastation, knowing nothing about the woman who carried me, toy guns, in the defense of my father. It is even harder knowing nothing about her, but knowing the reason the hospital has become my second home. It's because this dandelion chose to roam to the buffalo. But I seek study in the fact that she just didn't know that she, a dandelion, was just as beautiful as a rose. And I will go forth, knowing my purpose as a dandelion. This life is worth all the crimes and all the dying I have to do just so someone in my shoes can live. I will gladly give myself as a sacrifice to please that dandelions in the world become viewed as more than the consequences of sins behind closed doors. You can lay me on my back and present me lifeless to God if it means that dandelions with unseen scars will now be viewed as odd and as gifts from God to show the world that beauty lies not in the petals of flowers but in the power of unconditional love and the strength of the untouched, unhugged, sometimes unloved, but most important of all, y'all. I'm but Ladies and gentlemen, this ain't a movie, no.